All right, what's up guys? This is Jake and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up a minimum order amount inside of your Shopify store. So if you're trying to enforce an order minimum, like let's say you want customers to have to be able to add at least $100 worth of products to the cart in order to be able to check out, I'm going to show you how you can enforce that in this video today. So we're going to be using an app called Easy Checkout Controller, which you can get to by either searching this in the App Store or by clicking the first link in the description. And in order to set this up, we're going to be using this app and we're going to open it up and we're going to come down here to check out validations inside of the app. We're going to create a validation rule. So if I click on create validation, I'll just name the rule minimum order here. And now we can choose the conditions in which we want this to be applied. So what these validation checkout rules actually do, each time somebody attempts to check out, it's going to run this validation. And if these requirements that you specify are not met, then the checkout is going to be blocked. And I will show you how this works in action as well once we create this. So let's go ahead and set up a simple one first. So we'll do a basic minimum order. So down here we can choose when this validation is going to be enforced. So there's a bunch of different conditions here. So in this case for a minimum order, we would go under order details and then we can choose the order total. And then we can switch it to less than. So we can have the order total is less than let's say 100. This means that anytime someone tries to check out and they have less than $100 or whatever currency you're using in their cart, they're not gonna be able to check out. So we can choose to block checkout right here and then we can enter the error message that the customer will see. So in this case, I can just put in, so in this case, I'll just put in the minimum order is $100. You can choose where this error message will actually be displayed in the checkout by default. It's just going to show up at the top of the checkout, but you can choose to show this error message below any of these specific text fields. But for a minimum order, typically just having it at the top is fine. So I'm gonna click on save and then we're going to take a look at this rule in action. And then I will show you how you can make more complex minimum orders as well. So now if we jump over to the live store, I'm just going to go to the catalog. So we're just going to open up a product and add it to the cart. And we can see that we have $40 in the cart. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to check out. And I'm gonna enter some dummy information real quick. So I've input some information and we can see that now it is showing that the minimum order is $100 and we only have $40 in the cart. So if I were to try and click pay now, the error message is going to display and it's not going to allow us to check out. So now let's say we want to apply more conditions to this. So I'm going to go back and we'll go back inside of the app and let's go ahead and edit this rule. So if you wanted to edit it, you can come here to edit right here under actions and we can change this rule here. So we're gonna go ahead and add another condition. So let's say we don't want to enforce the order minimum for every customer in the store. Let's say we only want to enforce it for specific customers. So we could add another condition and then we could choose match all. So the difference between this is if you choose match any, then only one of these conditions have to be met. But if you choose match all, you can see it says and, so both of these conditions will have to be met. So now what we're going to do is we're going to choose customer tags and we'll choose the customer tags contains any of these values, which is just going to mean it contains any of these tags. So let's say now I can put in a tag that says minimum order and we can save. So now this rule has been updated. So now this minimum order validation will only kick in for customers that have the minimum order tag and have less than $100 in their cart. 
So I'm logged into a demo account here, as we can see, and it has no tags. So if we were to come over here and attempt to check out, we can see that the error message is no longer displaying. And if I were to click on pay now, we can see that the order went ahead and went through. Now let's go ahead and try this again, but I'm going to give this account the minimum order tag we have here. So if I go to tags and I'm just going to add minimum order and save it and then save again. All right. So now that this account has the minimum order tag and we are enforcing the rule for orders less than hundred with accounts that have this tag, logged into this account. If we come back over here to the store and we attempt to add this same product to the cart and then we go to check out. As soon as I enter in this information again, so we've entered in the information again. And if I try to pay, we can see that now the minimum order is once again being enforced. So that's going to be a pretty common way to enforce an order minimum is by setting up the order total being less than a number plus a customer tag. But there are other conditions that you can set up as well, and you can get as creative as you like with it. So if you were to look through these conditions, you could enforce the order minimum for, let's say, only new customers. You can do it for returning customers. You can enforce an order minimum based on how much the customer's lifetime spend is. You can enforce a minimum based on which products they have in their cart or if they are shopping from a specific collection. Or you can even enforce an order minimum based on where the products are being shipped. So let's say for an international address for international orders, this might be a common one. You'd want to enforce an order minimum for there. So you could, so let's say if you wanted to set that one up, you could do country and you could do the country does not contain and then whichever your home country is. So you can see that this uses country code. So you actually have to pull this up to find your country code here. In this case, if you were in the US, you could have the country does not contain the US. So this would mean for any one trying to check out and the shipping address contains a country that is not in the US, then this order minimum would be enforced. So you can enforce an order minimum based on shipping location as well. So that's how you can set up a minimum order amount in Shopify. It's pretty easy to do with this app. If there is a specific type of order minimum condition that you are trying to set up inside of the app and you don't see the variable here that you're looking for, leave a comment down below or reach out to our customer support since this is actually my app and we will take all of these ideas into consideration and potentially try and add the variables into the app. So that's how you can set up a minimum order in Shopify. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out the easy checkout controller app at the first link in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.